So what's fascinating to me is before you even know who you are, the world has an idea of who you should be. Right. And how does that affect your growing up? Um, you know, that is something that I, it is um, plaguing, I have to say, because, you know, I didn't really, innately, I'm not someone who, who desires or wants attention. And I've never yeah. been one of those people that run around, you know, walking every red carpet and going to every opening of every envelope. Mm -hmm. um, doing Presley perfumes and singing Elvis cover songs. And mm -hmm. I, I'm just innately not the kind of person that wants attention wants on attention. me, yeah. which has been my biggest battle and why it took me so long to do a record because it, I had to really find how to be okay with all of that before mm -hmm. d doing it. And it is something that's, and when I put the record out is when I realized how much of that, what you're talking about was there prior to me mm -hmm. sort of introducing myself and coming out in public and talking, I was like, you know, I can't, um, you have no idea who I am. I have to really, like, I have to really work here. You don't, I'm, I'm introducing myself to you for the first time and you have all these preconceived stacks on me. Not only preconceived, yours, yours is worse than preconceived. It's preconceived and also what I want you to be. Exactly. Yeah, what I yes. want you to be. Thank you for pointing that out. Yeah, yes. yeah. But if your whole premise, your whole life is, that's it. You're famous. You're famous from the day you are conceived in the womb and we hear about it. Right. How difficult has that been for you? You know, thankfully, that hasn't been that difficult thanks to my parents, thanks to my mother um, as well. Uh, she was very adamant on having me raised as normal as possible. She put me in a, you know, a normal school and kept me away. And I don't feel like I was that exposed or had the eye on me so much when I was growing up, thank God. Um, mm -hmm. Woo! Yeah. <laughs>